Hey again guys, wanna jump on here real quick and do a little quick video. I've decided to put together some little short videos for y'all to show you kind of some of the tools and equipment that we use on the truck that make our job easier. So what I wanna talk about today is a printer. Everyone should consider really strongly about getting a printer on the truck. It's gonna make your life a lot easier with a printer on the truck, you're able to make copies, you're able to print out paperwork if your carrier sends you paperwork, permits, um, if you have bill of ladings you need to make copies of, you know, we need two copies, one for the receiver and one for us to keep. So a lot of times, Shippers will only give you one copy of the paperwork. So it's very nice to be able to do that on your truck and not have to ask them at the shipper to, to provide you with additional copies or have to stop somewhere to make a copy or stop somewhere to find somewhere to print things out that you need for for the truck or um, for a job that you're doing so this is the printer we got we just recently purchased this a few weeks ago the printer we had before this one was an all-in-one printer one thing that that's important to consider when you're getting a printer for the truck it needs to be it doesn't need to be but it, the best one to get is one that's a wireless has wireless printing capabilities otherwise you're going to have to connect it every time to your laptop or computer to print something out so one that has wireless capability you won't need to connect that to your to your laptop or computer and that's another thing we'll talk about in another video that's good to have on the truck. But with the wireless, you can print this wirelessly from your laptop. You can print it from your smartphone. So it's a really great option. Now, like I said, the one we had before this was an all-in-one. And those of you that know about printers, the all-in-ones are big and bulky. It was probably about five times the size of this printer here. Now, the reason we waited so long to get a compact one is because they really didn't have a wireless one that um, would work well for us on the truck. So when we found out they came out with this one, that's when we went out and got this printer. Now what this printer is, this is a Canon printer. It's a Canon IP110, and I'll leave a link below that um, you can click on and see all the details on it. Now these printers are a little more pricier than the all-in-ones, but you're paying for the convenience and the compactness of this printer. Now, I'm going to show you how this printer sets up. It's really, really easy. Um, just for a comparison on size, I've got a, a paper towel roll here. You can kind of see the size comparison, and even with the coffee pot, how compact it is. So it's really, really nice. Doesn't take up a lot of room on the truck. So to set this up, it comes with a power cord, um, and then, you know, you just plug that into the side here. It's just a little plug, pretty simple and plug it into your power outlet in your sleeper. So what this does, it has a little flap that opens here. And then once that opens, this little part opens down here. Now this is where your paper is gonna feed into the printer. So got some paper here, gonna just slip that in. And that's how your paper goes in the printer there. Now your on and off power button is here. I'm gonna turn that on. Takes a minute for it to turn on and cycle on just like any other printer. The other buttons this printer's, uh, again, very simple, not a whole bunch of buttons or anything, but it has your little um, error button here. If you get a paper jam or something, that's where you would clear that. And then it has your wireless button. Now, one thing about this printer is you do have to have a mobile Wi-Fi in order for it to work. And I'll do another video and show you what that is if you don't know, but, um, you can't print with this on the truck stop Wi-Fi's or if you're at, you know, using a free Wi-Fi. You have to have a mobile uh, hotspot for this. And that's any wireless printer. So it doesn't matter if it's this or an all-in-one. So if you see here now, our little um, Wi-Fi button's on. That means it's connected to Wi-Fi and is ready for wireless printing. Now, we'll do a video too on some of the apps that we use. The one thing about this, it's not a copier. So you can't feed a document in and copy it. So in order to print something, you're gonna either have to have an app or take a photo with your smartphone and print it from there. Now, like I said, we'll show you an app that we use. It's called TurboScan that's really good for that. It's basically, you, 
you take a picture with your phone and it'll scan it and you can print it or you can email it as a PDF. But like I said, we'll talk about that in another video. And setting this printer up is super easy. It comes with instructions on how to set it up and how you set it up with your laptop and phone to be able to print. All right, so I'm gonna show you how this little baby prints and it's pretty quick at printing. So I've got a document, I'm just gonna pull up here on my phone and I'm gonna hit print. Now, it's going to bring up the options um, to print. You can do multiple copies. You can pick one copy or you can change it to however many copies you want to print. It also has an option to change it from color to black and white. So once I've got that, I'm just going to print it. And I just want to show you how quickly this prints. At first, it does take a minute when you first start it um, to get it processed. And then it's going to start printing. Your paper is going to read from the top, come out just like a normal printer. And there we go. Here it's printing. And a lot of times, and I think it's just because this is blown up, but most of the time it's really quick and it doesn't take a long time. It just feeds it right through and prints it right out. So there we go. And then we got our printed document there. So this is really nice. And then to close it up, basically you're just going to take your paper out turn your power button off and it'll take a minute to cycle to get the printer cartridge where it is to store and that'll blink a few times once that stops blinking then you know it's okay to close up and uh, put everything away all right so once that's done all you do to close this up is you're gonna lower this front door here and then this flap and it has a little magnet on this flap here if you see that that holds that closed so close that close that and you're done that's it you take your little cord out and you're all done and you're good to go I mean this thing is awesome like I said it does cost a little bit more than the um, than the all-in-one printers but like I've always said you in know, a confined space you know you want to save space anywhere you can so that's one of the the nice ways to do that so that's the printer we use you know a couple of things if you're shopping for a printer um, don't worry about getting an all-in-one if you have the mobile Wi-Fi um, you can print copies from your phone so you don't need that extra bulkiness of a scanner or a copier basically you just need the printer so you can print stuff out um, I hope this helped you know show you kind of what we use on the truck or you know some of you that may have the all-in-one like we have and have been searching for a compact printer this is the one like I said that we got and we absolutely love it we've had it a few weeks now and I'm so happy we got this so I'll leave uh, in the description box below the links to this particular printer so you can take a look at that if you'd like to look at it they do sell it at several different places we got ours at Office Depot they sell it at Best Buy the only reason we got it at Office Depot because they had it in stock we didn't want to have to order it um, Best Buy may have them in stock depending on where you look so I'll leave all that information in the description box below and we'll see you in our next video thank you for watching and subscribing bye bye mm -hmm.